kitchen. My name is Arin Pato and um, I love to cook Persian food and I'm from Iran and I came to this country for many many years ago. I'm going to show you how to make the, one of my favorite dish called the Horeshte Pesenjum. My kids used to love it, especially my son used to love that dish. The fesenjun, it's basically the main ingredient, it's the walnut. Now I like to get my paste ready. I like to be very fine and tasty. The food is good for the soul and I feel that when you have a good food, and you feel good about yourself as long as you don't overdo it. So now I put my onions and I put a lot of oil on. I smoothly mix the onions with this and constantly so making sure the bottom of the walnut doesn't then stick with the pan. I enjoy the music. Yeah, absolutely. When I close my eyes and I listen to the music, I feel like uh, God is good to me and give me that opportunity uh, to have uh, that music to my soul. So now I'm going to slowly add my sauce to it. Try oil off the walnut uh, comes out of it. And that's the very good and healthy. I love to change my ingredient a little bit. Now I thought the cranberry is very healthy and it's good for you. So I thought, I'm, I'm gonna use the cranberry jam in it too. When I cook it, I bring the best out of the food. So I said, mm, it's delicious, it's so good, it's yummy. And I enjoyed it. And now I'm gonna add my cranberry sauce. See how the color comes so lovely? And a pinch of the salt and a little bit for the luck. I made the chicken to cook. Now it's been no fat. Now I'm gonna add my chicken to my sauce. So let them all together and bump up to each other. And I have a chicken breast and chicken turned dark and the light chicken I mix all together. I'm gonna show you how we serve the pheasant over the rice. So be generous to use the salt in the water because what I wanted you to do basically, my rice swim this water very well. I baby it, I look at it, and I talk to it, I make it sure it doesn't get too well done. To me, it's the life. You're walking in a house to smell of the good food and uh, having a nice good music and the beautiful flower. This is what I love to have in my life. And I want my kids to remember that the grandma loved the good food, having a good household, and the music hits is always in our blood. And I made the tadik, the bottom of the rice, I made it with the tortilla. Because back home I remember you used to use the potato or bread, but I like the tortilla now. I find that the tortilla is much more uh, crunchy. And I put the tortilla in the bottom of my pan. I want to make sure my tortilla doesn't get um, burned. So I keep an eye on it. So turn it back. Now I'm going to put the rice over my tortilla. And a little bit of oil. And I always like to cover my pan. I like to uh, wrap my leg with the towel because when you put the rice, when you put the leg on the rice, you don't want it to steam. Come back to the rice. I do not like to use the radish like this. I like to, when I look at it, 
I relate it as a flower. So I'm going to make it look like a flower. I cut up the top and I cut the bottom of it and I slide one, two, three, one side and I slide one, two, three, the other side and again one, two, three. Look at that how pretty they come. When I was growing up, the family was, was very important. The uncle and aunt and the grandmother, grandfather, the whole family. Back home, uh, we had more. Uh, my time in at least, I remember everybody cared about each other. You didn't have to go to psychiatrist. You always have to see the um, grandmother, grandfather always listen to you and ask you what you have. I remember my, I used to love my grandmother. When you used to come my home, you come to our house, I used to take his shoes and I put it to my school bag and take it to school. So uh, I knew when I come back at school, my grandmother could not leave without her shoes. So when I come home and I see my grandmother tell me, Oh, honey, where did you take my shoes? I couldn't find my shoes today. I said, Grandma, I have it in my pocketbook, in my school bag. What I learned, I would like pass it to the young people, or I would like share it, my wisdom to the younger people, and uh, or help other people as much as I can. And I try to get involved with the nursing home, and I try to and do the different things with the community, so get, get involved and pass around whatever I know, what I can do. The life is not only to take, it's the time you have to return. So I hope you enjoyed the food and Zanusha John. Anything else you want to say? Uh, I love you love you too. I love you.